Welcome back and it's finally time to lay up the main spar so here you can see the mold is all prepped and uh, just waiting to have it uh, started off so we've got a few marks out there for where different layup things are going to be and uh, all ready to go and here's Jeff got the first set of plies down and there's a lot of work to do with the spar because you lay up the plies and then there's core in the middle and then there's a whole bunch of other different uh, tape plies that make up the top and bottom or the caps uh, so it actually takes a long time so it's a whole day job uh, just to do it and then we bagged it and then um, today um, Jeff took the bag off again and uh, finished it off just uh, closing out the uh, plies on the inside so it's pretty much a two day, two day job right now with the manpower that we have and some of you may have noticed that Keith is back with us just for three weeks um, over the holiday break so that's uh, nice to have him back uh, helping us out again. Anyway, this is the uh, finishing off on the first day with the spa. And here it is uh, under vacuum. So today, Tuesday, it um, got the second round done on it. And it's again under vacuum. But I didn't actually get a lot of footage of that because I was pretty busy today working on um, the door frame, which you'll see here uh, shortly. But uh, so far, it looks like it's coming out nicely. And this is something I forgot to show you uh, in the last video. These are the, the blocks that how they turned out for those intensifiers for where the door locks are going to be inside the door frame. So they basically just sort of conform to the shape of the locks and they were just pushed in um, into the layup there in the mold. And here's the door frame uh, pretty much fresh out of the mold. So nothing trimmed off yet and just taken off uh, some of the peel ply that we had. Uh, on the inside there where we're going to be bonding some stuff to it. We added some peel ply and the rest of it uh, got uh, primed so that's what the white is there. So I began yesterday afternoon the job of uh, trimming it on the machine so here um, is um, just got the quarter inch uh, end mill on there and just running along the outside uh, flange right now on this particular pass and got it running nice and slow uh, so it does a clean cut and with a high RPM running about 12,000 RPM on the machine with all these different passes. And meanwhile this is the header tank uh, part that got laid up uh, last week and so you see it's been released from the mold there and that just needs to be trimmed off. So that's the tank that um, the two wing tanks will sort of feed into and this will sit behind the cabin. And meanwhile the guys braced up this particular mold so this is the one for the ribs that make up um, the rear of the um, strake attachment on the door and also the front of the strake tank. And here's the machine just working a little bit further now so this time now I've actually done all the trimming on there and actually starting to work on cutting out the door locks and this is where I went kind of and had a problem last time so I'm only um, running sort of three of the sides cutting and then the other bit I'm actually doing it by hand because it's a little really tricky to try and get in and cut that bottom cut um, so anyway, they, this is working out uh, well so far. And here you can see this is cutting out one of the larger um, hook lock uh, openings. And if you're wondering what that uh, sort of circular steel thing is there, it's just a weight and I've got uh, three of those there just holding the bottom edge of the door uh, into the fixture so it doesn't move when we're cutting it. And on the other side I've got a bungee holding it down. Um, it fits nice and snug into the fixture so it doesn't really move around but you know you don't want it sort of lifting for any reason. Um, the the end mill wouldn't actually sort of lift it up or anything like that and it just doesn't have enough uh, strength that would sort of uh, drill rather than lift it. Um, anyway there you can see it's uh, just running that pass there and um, cutting that out and you'll see the results of that shortly. And here's Zach and Keith are working on um, putting the heavy layers of uh, carbon on this uh, particular mold and this is the one for one of the ones for the rear wall of the strake tank so they're just finishing that one off bulking it up and then this afternoon we also had Chris in uh, Roberto's on vacation um, so he's not coming in for the next couple of weeks but uh, Chris is in there and so the three of them are working on this one and these, this is the mold for the braces for the firewall and here's the mold uh, for the strake um, additions that attach to the doors. So that one uh, has been released from the plug now and it came out nicely, just needs to be cleaned up. And here's the header tank and it's been uh, trimmed now and also too with the panel that closes it out. 
So the two of those basically make up the complete tank. So there you see if I lift that up, you can see inside there, and that'll get uh, Jeffco in there, which is a product that seals it off um, so you can put fuel in there and not have it leak. And back on the door, making good progress now. You can see you've got it all trimmed, and I've got the holes drilled there for where the hinge pins go through. And the door uh, locks are all cut out there, and so the next thing is to drill the holes for the mounting um, for the locks, and then uh, a little bit more cutouts for the actuator for the locks, and then start thinking about uh, getting the locks in there and, and getting those uh, sort of closed out at the back. And from this side you can kind of get a better look about what's going on. So obviously there's the hinge bosses and there's the cutouts there for the locks by where the front of the window is. And then here's the three for the hook boxes um, on the bottom of the door. And all these different locks uh, had to be there to handle the pressurization. So that was all done by Mark to tell us where those needed to be. And here you can see this is a sample box that I've made um, for one of the pin um, locks and you just see that basically will slide in there and then of course be bolted in and there'll be a close out on the back there so three different or two different sides there it's bolting through and you'll see more of that later anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching